y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog so today's saturday we're starting this vlog off on a saturday i have so many things to do today like that's why i'm just like talking fast because my house is a mess i've come to terms that dion and i we're messy people like we are and i and i knew that about myself but i just never wanted to like admit it out loud but we are messy so we're always cleaning because we're always putting stuff like not putting stuff back that's our biggest problem never putting things back where they go and i'm just like well damn it's just us two we need to get this together before we ever think about like bringing kids into this because girl so yeah today's the cleaning day right now i'm getting ready to leave out i need to go to walmart sebastian need some food and then I think I'm going to just pop in home goods, pop into home goods and see what they got because in my foyer area, is that called foyer? Foyer? I think it's called like the foyer area. Or like before you walk into like the, I don't know. But this area right here, I have like a console table and during Christmas, I had like all my Christmas decor um up there. But after Christmas, I realized I ain't really got nothing up there. So I ordered some like coffee table books off Amazon because I love decorating with coffee table books. But I also need some cute little knickknacks as well. So we'll probably um decorate that in this vlog and clean up and whatever else. It's 9.52 right now. I kind of want to go somewhere and get some breakfast real quick because I'm hungry. But I feel like breakfast in at 10. It's either 10 or 10.30. We'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce this vlog. Hello, what's up? I'm Chelsea. If you're new, I've already said that. Please consider subscribing if you aren't already. And let's just get the vlog started. This is the area of the house. This little black thing right here. So what is this called? Like, that's the door. The foyer area? I don't know. But this is what I want to decorate. Put some stuff on. So yeah, we'll just put these slides on. And we're going to head out. Two Wendy's first, um, y'all. I poured my own orange juice because they be giving you that little bit of orange juice. And plus, that orange juice has so much sugar. The orange juice I got is, I think it's by the brand Simply, and it's like the light one with like low sugar or something. It's actually quite disgusting. I don't really like it. I've tried the other Simply like light drinks, and I like them, but. This orange juice. Oh my god, my camera going dead. You did not see my words, so you try to play me. H&M had, I mean, Home Goods had nothing, so I'm going to go to CB2 to see, you know, what they got cuz Home Goods had nothing. They had like good furniture pieces, so if you needed like some furniture stuff, they had this beautiful mirror. I kind of want it, but I don't know how we get it home. It's huge, but it was so freaking nice. I just decided I'm about to go back in the home goods. I'm about to buy that mirror. And for whatever reason, if it don't work, I'm just going to, I guess, bring it back. But I'm not going to be able to take it right now because I need Dion. There's no way I can fit this damn mirror in this car by myself. So let's go buy the mirror. This is the mirror, y'all. It's really big. Also, uh, instead of playing music how I usually do when I'm cleaning up, you know, I decided to come on and talk to you all because I think sometimes being like a YouTuber, influencer, a creator, whatever the case may be, a lot of people look at your life and think everything is supposed to be perfect, everything always supposed to be clean, and I'm just here to tell y'all, I'm just like y'all, I'm a regular girl, like, things get messy, I, like, it happens, I, my house my home, my apartment, is it's an apartment. It's bound to get messy. We put things in places they don't belong, but we always, you know, fix it when we feel fit. I'm not the type of person that's going to clean up every single day if I don't feel like it. I live a very busy life. We both work. Things happen. And I just want to just, you know, like, have this moment with you all because I do see sometimes people commenting on my stuff and others oh you're so messy you're so dirty you're this you're that but it's like girl like 
how you keep your house? And I'm not saying, like, some people are super clean. Some people do always, you know, have everything together. But if you were expecting that from me, I'm here to tell you that's not what you're going to get. I'm, I'm not that girl. I want, I inspire to be more better and intentional with putting things away and not letting things, you know, pile up. But, girl... Just like everybody else, I go through things. Some days I don't feel like it. That's simply the reason. I don't feel like it. I remember growing up, I could not wait to get my own apartment. Because guess what? If I don't feel like washing the dishes that night, I'm not going to wash the dishes. Like, that's just where I'm at in life. I don't, I didn't make this channel for things to look perfect. I didn't make this channel for me to look like I'm better than anybody else. I made this channel so you all can see. I'm just like y'all. I live a life just like y'all. I wake up, I make mistakes, I I fall out with people, I make up with people. My house is messy sometimes. I cook sometimes. Sometimes I go out to eat. Like I'm living a regular life and I love it. We I I always tell y'all like I'm a little chaotic like you, you're going to get everything with me. You're going to get the aesthetics, child. You're going to get my problems. You're going to get accomplishments. We do a little bit of everything around here. And I just think that's what life is about. I don't want to watch nobody who seems to be, you know, so posed and perfect on camera. But you don't really get to see, you know, the other side. <sighs> hey, y'all. So, from cleaning to getting ready, I am... About to go out with Chelsea. We're probably just gonna do a little window shopping today. She said she wanted to smell some fragrances, and I'm just tagging along. I know we'll probably grab lunch, which works for me because I haven't ate anything but a sandwich today. So yeah, I need my mirror. Ugh. I'm trying to get it with my foot. So yeah, I have this really cute outfit. Y'all will see this outfit um, in the haul. I need to do these damn people haul. I know they sick of me. But yeah, I'm just about to get ready real quick. I'm watching Platinum D's new vlog. And yeah, I'm about to just get ready. So just enjoy. Come on me. Viva la your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come on me. Fly you out to grief. Full speed. So for the belly, yeah. Like, girl, 
Oh, uh, and I'm just getting quicker and quicker, y'all, because I've been doing this face for years, but hair's done, makeup's done. Um, my phone been on the charger. I told Chelsea to tell me when she's leaving so I can, you know, leave. I'm obsessed with this shit, y'all. This Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist has me in a chokehold. I love this stuff. Like, mmm. I love it. I love it. It has this really, really light fragrance. Mmm. I just, I just love it. So I'm going to put on my daily jewelry. I wear the same stuff every day. A watch, my Cartier earrings. I mean, my Cartier ring. And then a pair of earrings. I got in my LV earrings today. So, I think I want to just do. See, I don't know my freaking other watch at. Oh, here it go. I just wanted to do my regular all gold JPW instead of the silver and gold one. So, yes. And then I'm going to carry. So pretty. So I have one all brown. I'm just continue to carry this bag. It goes perfectly. Let me put my lip gloss in here. This is the NYX. This is Milky Gloss in the color. What is the color? I don't know what the color, but it's a oh my lash. It's a really pale pink, and it kind of looks clear. So. I just love it. It's so cute. And I'm going to put my necklace on too. But it is in my bathroom. So, yeah. This one really looking like. Super cute. I told Dion about that mirror I bought today. He didn't sound too happy. But he said we should be able to get it home. So, we'll see. But let me put my necklace on. I need to figure out shoes. I'm kind of really ready for it to be spring and summer because I don't want to look stupid walking around with slides on. But I think I'm going to put some slides on because I ain't got time. Y'all, oh my God. I don't think I realized how hungry I am. My stomach is growling. Why do I have these sunglasses on? I want to be a sunglasses girl. So freaking bad. I just don't think I am. I just, I just don't think I am. I used to buy shades, sunglasses all of the time. And I just stopped buying them because I never wear them. Like, ever. I have Fendi, I have Saint Laurent, and I have a shit ton of just Forever 21, H&M, Shein. I just never wear them, so. Yeah. That's that. But yeah, we're headed to um, Neiman Marcus. I have no intentions on spending any money on shopping today. I'm just there for the vibes and the support of my friend if she wants to shop. So why would you show up so uninvited? I like he's no idol. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one nice him. I never listened though. I should have figured though. All the shit you was spitting so unoriginal. But it was you, so I was with it. And to tell you the truth, which we never did it. Cause I usually do stick to the business. In the way. Ooh. Funny how everything changed. Once you got all that you wanted. Mm. Nothing was ever the same. You guys, fun fact. I'm not proud. But I have a tattoo on me that says nothing was ever the same. Like, I love that quote so much. It just means so much to me. It's like right here on my shoulder. Nothing was ever the same. Fun fact. These songs are just hitting different. I used to be in love with this boy. I used to be in love with him. He ain't love me back. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Just embarrassing. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. We are in Zara. Say hi, Chelsea. <laughs> Alright, I have my camera 
or in the wrong setting, but we are going to the baller. Oh my God, Tristan done got on her car and pulled off so quick. She must ain't got no seatbelt on, because how you crank up the car that damn quick? But we're going to the boiler. I'm so fucking excited. I'm so hungry. And the boiler is just gonna hit the spot. She called them. They said they didn't have a wait. They will. Mm-mm. I'm with some crabs. Um, I I'm kind of in a mood for calamari, but ever since Janae and I went to get calamari from um Juicy Crab, I kind of like being against calamari because let me call Chelsea <laughs> because um I don't like when calamari I was just calling you I think I'm going the wrong way yeah you are okay let me know when you see me I'm right where you were where you were parked at okay let I'm me go around here. But yes, the boiler is just so good, y'all. Like, if y'all in Atlanta and during the week, they have these like five dollar pouches, like adult pouches. So good, so strong. What's going on? Who had done this to Nikki and why? Now, the crime scene itself, it gave intruders like as if someone had broken in. Maybe they did not expect her to get home, and when they see her or when she finds them, a struggle ensues. One in which she, of course, does not win. But the crime itself gave crime the passion. Considering how badly she had been hurt and beaten, it was quite obvious that the person that had done this was somebody who knew her personally and had an emotional tie to her. Of some sort. I'm outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Y'all, good morning, good morning, happy, happy Sunday. Yeah, today's Sunday. So, yesterday I ended the vlog at the boiler. I think it's called the boiler. I, I never know if it's the brawler or the boiler. I think it's the boiler though. And now it's Sunday. I don't really have much planned for today. I need to clean up this area. Because it's like, when I did my makeup yesterday, I was kind of rushing. So I didn't put things back where it go. But y'all, let me tell y'all know. Y'all should know. I love TikTok. If you're looking for me, you can find me on TikTok for sure. But, um, so I'm on TikTok and I had this TikTok. Let me turn it down. So I had this TikTok that I did like at the beginning, beginning of the year. Let me see when I posted this. On January 5th. So um, my friend and I went to Ruth's Chris and I just made a cute little TikTok. And then my caption said, sup baby, take me to dinner. You know, cute. So it was kind of like, not going viral, but like when your TikTok starts to get like a lot of attraction, sometimes that can go very wrong. You get weirdos commenting. So everything was going good until this girl commented and like it's she just she just aggravated me because like I just do not like stuff like this. So everybody commenting like you know like oh material girl because that's how TikTok works if you don't know that's how TikTok works. So oh material girl luxury lifestyle black girl in luxury woo 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 woo. So she comments and goes I want to find this. Cause it's just like girl so she comments and she said Ruth's Chris is still considered high end with the mm emoji if you got an iPhone and you know what I'm talking about and she put high end with um like quotations around it so when I first seen the comment I'm just like I didn't say that and even if I did say that what's it to you cause I'm thinking of like I'm thinking, like, people, like, it's just so fucked up how the world is, you know, like, for example, I had been in Ruth's Chris several times this time, but my friend I went with, that was her first time going, so for her, you know, she wanted to enjoy her experience, she had never been, this is, this is a look, you know, this is a high-end restaurant, she had never been, she dressed up, she looked nice, you know, woo, woo, so, I'm just thinking about what if she would have made this TikTok like my friend I went with. And you know she's posting it. She's excited. And then uh, somebody comments something like this. It's just like are you hating? Like wh what's going on here? I don't get it. So she said Ruth's Chris still consider a high end restaurant with an mm -mm emoji. 
And I said, wait, I commented two times. Okay, the first time I commented, I said, who said that? And then I came back and I said, but even if I did say that, what's it to you? So she commented and said, relax, sis. I can ask, dot, 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 damn. And I'm just like, no, bitch, you knew what you was doing. So I commented back and I said, girl, you know you was being shady. But okay. Because, girl, like, what? Like, what? When I tell y'all, my hair is itching so damn bad. Look at my leave on. I need to fix my hair. Oh, it smells so good though. My hair smells like Delina. Mm, 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 mm. I wore that the other day. Y'all already know how I feel about Delina. Exclusive. She's that girl. She'll always be that girl. When I get married, like out of the scents I have now, if I had to choose like a scent I'm going to wear on my wedding day from what I have now, Delina exclusive, period. And I want to get the, um, if, if this becomes like my marriage scent, I'm going to get the hair mist, I'm going to get the body cream, and then I already have the, um, the perfume. It's just so good. I absolutely love it. I'm about to make me some coffee. I'm about to make me some coffee. I was so freaking excited yesterday because... I uploaded my vlog and I had some tried some new music. Usually I'll do like the whole test run with trying my new music, but I didn't feel like it yesterday, so I didn't do it. And everything worked out. None of the songs I used like three new songs. None of them got copywritten. So I'm a happy, happy girl, but yeah, I'm about to make me some coffee and I am about to. I'm actually, fun fact, I'm recording like three vlogs at once. So, I have to leave y'all to pop back into somebody else. So, I'll be back. So, remember that mirror I bought? Was that yesterday? It was either yesterday or the day before yesterday. Anyways, I think it was Saturday. The mirror I bought Saturday, Deanna and I are going to see if we can fit it in the car. My This is my biggest fear. My biggest fear is... Struggling to get it to fit in the car, but finally getting it to fit in the car, getting it home, struggling it, struggling to get it out the car, bring it up, and I hate it. That's my biggest fear. So, as long as that don't happen, I'll be okay. Like, if we get it home, I love it. It'll be worth it. If it don't fit, I'm just going to return it. I'm not going to put too much pressure on it. Because truth be told, I don't need it. I just want it. So... Yeah, that's what we're about to do. I'm looking a little bummy today, y'all. I haven't fixed my leave it or anything, but it's cool. I smell good, though. I have on the Nest Black Tulip. I should know this by heart because I'm obsessed. But, y'all, Nest Black Tulip. I'm probably going to... Can you call them back? I'm probably going to put in a earring. My Fendi earrings, these ones, I really like these earrings, but the Fendi little backs that came with it cannot be trusted. I need to try some other backs because those earrings fell out my ear like two times because the backs were loose. I bought this from Shein. It's got like, can y'all see that? It's got like all different types of backs. So I know one of these gotta be able to work. But it just sucks. The ones that came with don't work. I've actually had two things I need to take back to um home with. I don't have the receipt, but I can probably get like a store credit. One being this little basket I bought Sebastian. I really tried it thinking that this basket was really gonna hold his toys. He got so many damn toys. That don't hold anything, so I need a bigger basket. I'm taking that one back, and I bought a hand soap dispenser that I'm taking back to. I really like this. I think this is really cute. And that's a great price. $50? Oh, wait. No. That's not $50. It's $200. But I really like that. That's cute. Y'all, they got the Valentine's Day stuff. Oh. Uh -huh. 
I have to get this. Happy Galentine's Day, bitches. That's cute. I have to get it. My freaking hands are full because I didn't get a card. Oh my god. People are looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm so embarrassed. I gotta go. I cannot believe this. Look at this teapot. Oh good. So y'all, the mirror didn't fit. Someone will get you. I'm back home. We went to Moe's. Y'all, remind me never to go to Moe's again. That Moe's on a Sunday. It was like, um, it was like in a college area. So the line was so long. It was so many college students. It just, I had never experienced like Moe's being like that. So it was a lot, but it was good. <sighs> and we're home. So I got four coffee table books from Amazon. I want to show you them. Y'all remember at the beginning of the vlog, I was telling y'all about that area over there. So I kind of bought these books, some to go over there for my coffee table, just for around the house. So this is the first one I got. Let me get it to focus. It's super cute. Um, this is the front. This is the back. And these books are actually like, this is more of like an informative book telling you like, how to be like a minimalist and stuff like that. I just really like the way the front of it looked. And then next up, I got this Chanel book. This is bigger than, the Chanel book is bigger than this book. It's a good size and it was very affordable, like 20 something dollars. And then these last two are my favorites. They're so cute. So this is a monochrome home book. And this is so freaking cute. I want this on my coffee table. It's just so pretty. This is the back of it. And the inside is really pretty too. Like, I really like this book. And this last one is just so cute. I might switch out a book um, from my beauty room. Hi, Sebastian. Because I feel like this one needs to be in my beauty room. This is the Alexander McQueen um, Unseen book. I actually need to open this one because I didn't open it. So... This is what the book looks like. Without this cover on it, it's just like a plain gray book, but it has some really pretty pictures on it. If you're into fashion, I think you'll enjoy that. So I don't know when we're gonna get these together, but it won't be right now. Home goods, I told y'all the mirror didn't work. Boom. But I found a bunch of things. Starting with this teapot. I don't know who I'm having a tea party with, probably myself. But y'all, I am obsessed. It is the cutest freaking thing I think I've ever seen. Like, seriously. It's so cute. Oh, I'm about to break my stuff. How freaking cute. This is so cute. I don't know if it's picking up on the gold, but it is so freaking cute. So I'm definitely gonna be using this because I am obsessed. And I got, I think I showed y'all this mug. I can't remember, but the Happy Galentine's Day mug. So super cute. It has like a red handle and it's soft pink in the inside. So cute. Have these little teacups for when we have our little tea party. And then a tray to go under it. Like that. How freaking cute. I got these two cute little plates. These are so cute. I'm manifesting a little girlfriend, like a friend, that I can eat off these plates with and drink tea with. How cute. So these are the Hotel Lux Gold Label, a thousand thread count sheets. They look like this. So yeah. And these come with four pillowcases. I like that, a fitted sheet, and then, you know, the flat sheet. So, and then I got Sebastian a, um, a toy holder that actually holds his toys.
Y'all, I wanted to come on and show y'all how I styled my coffee table. It's super duper cute. I kept it pretty simple. Everything is just right in the middle. In the last clip, I showed y'all this book, the monochrome chromatic book. I got that sit right there with this vase from Home Goods with some pompous in it. Super cute. These chains are from Amazon. I decided to put those right there. This is my Centaur 26 Room Spray. Love that. And then y'all know how I feel about that coconut and honey candle. Smells so good. So yeah, that's what the coffee table is looking like. And y'all know the coffee table itself is from CB2. We'll decorate more in the next vlog, but I did want to show y'all what I did so far, which is the coffee table.